Let me know when you're filming. Let's I've been go. filming. <laughs> hey, hey, every pony I've got with me. Brandon Tolentino! Monsieur Brandon, where'd my beer go? Tolentino! Monsieur Brandon Tolentino. I'm on the, the internet. Yeah. Look at the camera. You gotta, you gotta look at the camera the whole time. That's me. So, we're back to filming my room. We're gonna address this nice figure shelf, but first we're gonna address some random shit that's laying around, like this fucking junk ass sword. How do you feel about this sword, Brandon? You can have it. So, <laughs> this junk ass sword, we picked this up on the side of the road, right? <clears throat> No. Where did we get this? Uh, Mom and Dad got it at a yard sale. At a yard sale. So it was already rusty and shitty, though. Right? Yeah. Right. The so Bruce Willis used it. They had a handle. Like, <laughs> this is just like one of those fake ass, you know, like, look at that. Look at that weak. But, uh, yeah, it's like a fake ass katana. Dull as shit. You can just, like, ow, okay, well, it's maybe you can't just, uh, Congratulations, you might <laughs> have, you might have a disease. <laughs> well. We gotta take it. Oh, stupid I fuck. I basically got a paper cut right on my You know Mike probably sharpened yeah. that. Oh, that's true. Mike probably did sharpen this. Stupid ass. Great the way to start this. Dull, except for that one spot down at the bottom. Anyway. So, I always wanted the, one of those when I was like 13. I never got My parents wouldn't buy one though because they were like, Victor and Shade will fucking kill each other with it. So, <laughs> that's literally why I couldn't oh get one. <laughs> I was like, I should be able to. Whoa, dude. Hey, the battery's not going to last. <laughs> What? The battery's not gonna last the whole long. Well, we didn't charge the battery. Well, that's a problem, probably. Yeah. I grabbed it exactly where you said it was sharp. <laughs> well, but you did. So, anyway, um... Yeah, that was picked up off the side of the road. By the way, it was it always taped like that, or did we do that? The handle was breaking apart from right. hitting things, and so we taped it, yeah. I remember this sword helped me get through some rough times. Cause I would just yeah. Go I would just go outside and like slash trees with it and shit. Kind of yeah. rough times, like people problems. Yeah, I know, right? People problems. <laughs> yeah, those kind of rough times. Damn it, I couldn't I was zoom going in. Going to jump out your window. All right, now we're gonna actually address some shit. Um, first let's start with all these lanyards and shit. We're like yeah. getting to the figures last, or start with this. Fucking okay, I guess I gotta pull all this off at once. Well then. Come on. Wait. Come on, yeah, work this. with me. Work with me. I'm We are watching an Asian guy watch a guy talk, <laughs> talk about, about shit. <laughs> Peter, you're way too loud, by the way, because the camera picks you up like way oh, louder than I us. figured it'd be quieter. Cause be... Well, I guess the, the mic's up here. Um, from from Gunsinger Girl, I got this at Otakon well, 2008. Well, the real one. <laughs> <laughs> at Otakon 2008. Most of what I got was either art books relating to Yoshitoshi Abe or Gunsinger Girl merchandise. So this came from that. And she's fucking adorable. Can yeah. I touch it? Yeah, you can play with that. Now we got a bunch of fucking lanyards. Well, these are actually pretty cool because of the uniqueness of each of them. So every year when I went to Otakon, I would basically have my own image that we, like, okay, so... If you've ever been to a con, you know that they give you a badge, and it's usually got some kind of anime series on it if you're going to an anime con. So, like, they'll give you a choice of eight, and you basically pick whichever show you're the most into. So, like, I picked Code Geass, which sucks because I could have had Lucky Star, but I wasn't into Lucky Star yet at Otakon 2008. So I got Code Geese instead. But Failure. what's cool is that um, <laughs> this guy online, because I was part of the Mega Tokyo forums at the time, and everyone on Mega Tokyo forums was, like, going to Otakon. Thank you. And this guy was, like, offering to make people... Uh, like a uh, badges like that would have their own choice of image on it. So I got this one. You should zoom in on this because it's, it's like a blaring game. light hitting it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it says, um, basically, it would say Otakon 2008 convention of the and on mine I put Zetsubosta generation, which is a quote from <laughs> Sayonara <laughs> Zetsubo Sensei Freddy I got scared. <laughs> And it says Digital Boy, 21st Century Digital Boy, because that was my internet alias at the time. So, that's Otakon 2008. Yeah, so, yeah, oh, and the picture on that, I forgot it, that's the most important uh, part, it's the fucking picture. So, each year, I would try to choose a picture with, which, uh, which I had been using a lot that year. So, like, this one I had used as the header of a website and stuff, and I had been using it in, um... 
Generally, whichever picture was most important to me that year, I would usually put on a blog post at the end of the year, like summarizing what happened. So, like, this was my 2008 su summary picture, or maybe 07, I don't remember. Either way, this picture was important. Um, it's funny because I just liked it because it was like this girl who splattered in blood and holding a it gun. It really reminds me of John Travolta in Pulp Fiction, that pose that he does with Sam Jackson. Yeah, but it's actually from, the character is actually from the show uh, Maria Samagami Teru, which is like this super low-key um, romance, like, or drama, mm -hmm. and it really has no, like, everyone in it is ultra-polite and stuff. They're supposed to be like these, like, you know, Ojo-sama, which is like a prim and proper girl, so I think that's kind of the joke. <laughs> And I didn't even know it was that character. I had seen the show, but I did not know it was that character until a little bit later. So then in 2009, I have Simone for my badge. That's fucking cool that I could get that. Because no one watched Simone. It's really amazing that they put that on a badge. Uh, but then my picture, Whoa. it's a... Uh, this is the only one where I wasn't using the picture all year. But I found it and... Because my, like, my favorite show that year was Toradora. And I was also a huge Hatsune Miku fan at the time, so I found Taiga dressed as Hatsune Miku, and I was like, um, yeah? That is perfect. So I put that on the badge. <laughs> it says, Convention of the Vocal Generation. Uh, once again, 21st Century Digital Boy was my name. What is the vocal generation? It's a vo generation that speaks up. Very vocal. About uh, things. Things. By the way, what is this? Do you remember where this necklace... I know it's one of the, like, souvenirs. You can have it. You're not looking <sighs> at it at, on the camera. Are I you? am. Oh, you are? I can see. Jesus oh, Christ. Do you know where this came from? Mom and Dad uh, brought it uh, up. Uh, mine had a turtle probably on it. Probably something. They bring us like a, a ton of... Because my, my parents travel a lot, so they'll bring us... I think I'm like, in Jamaica. Oh, God, I'm bleeding. Jamaica. Well, I'm Dumbass. I got blood on my hand. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, Is it delicious? Auto vampire now. Um... Oh, here's a. This isn't the wrong thing. This is my Otakon. Yeah, get your shit together, man. Fuck. Be professional. <laughs> You're fucking shit <laughs> What? How would you describe me right now, Brandon? A fucking, uh. <gasps> fucking cunt! Fucking cunt! <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up! So, Brandon, you should stand on the other side of Connor's. Right. NecoCon 12, which was in 2009. I actually ran a panel at this NecoCon. Uh, me and this dude, Pats, ran a panel called, um, what was it? Anime... Released and Relinquished. Yeah, Released and Relinquished, which was about shows that came out in the U.S. and no one watched them, even though they were released here. So it's like, because we wanted it to be shows that you could watch legally, but, um, but no one did. So we talked about some shows. That's interesting. And so far, the only panel, uh, con panel I've run, though, I'm gonna run one at BronyCon, which I need to put out an announcement video for, because I keep forgetting. So now we have Otakon 2010. Dude. This one I got a Hayate the Combat Butler, uh, badge. 2010 was only three years ago. Yeah. 2010 was three whole years ago. I know. <laughs> Uh, and this is actually the most important, this is the image that I used the most out of all of these images, which is um, Romelia Scarlet and this like Scarlet monochrome background, uh, which is the, was the header for, if you, if, cause I realized that I've changed my, um, my Tumblr so that now it's blue, yeah. but it's still called Scarlet Monochrome. It's kind of confusing. I'm thinking though. about how confusing that is. This was the header and the whole site was red. Because I was going to say, you guys should recognize this from my Tumblr. And I went, oh, wait. No, it's my Tumblr's changed now. now. I should change it back because, honestly, it's, you know. At least make it red. Yeah, it would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> For a site called Scarlet Monochrome to be Scarlet Monochrome. This is why, though. Uh, it's Convention of the Scarlet Generation. Still 21st Century Digital Boy. This is taking longer than I thought it would. Yeah, you're taking forever. Come on. That's how I am, man. And then we got 2011. This is the last Otakon I went to, and it has Madoka badge, so that's cool. Madoka that was badge. probably, out of the shows I have badges of, that's probably my favorite. Look at that. Uh, and Otakon 2011. Now, some of those other badges were like, well, not this one, but that some one. of them were like pro printed. This one is just like I printed that it. That was a profile home. picture on Facebook for the longest time. Oh, so even you recognize hey, this. You're right. It's still yeah. my profile picture on my anime list. Um, it's Otakon 2011, convention of the in parentheses, or uh, in quotation marks, adult generation. Because that was the year where I was an adult, and it was just like 
the character Sukiyomi Komoe is she's like forty and she looks like she's eight and she's like whoa she does like the most because she smokes and drinks so it's like she's trying to be adult cool. basically so yeah um, and it just says Digi Boy with a tilde afterwards because I, I don't know that's pretty gay but oh that's probably why I did it <laughs> I was like tilde. let's make it adorable anyway that's all for that no we got. You can have Oh, Henrietta. I forgot you were still holding on to that. Yeah, I was holding on to that for a while. So, here we got this. The SOS Don. Here, you want to put this on? Yeah, Maybe sure. The fucking what chief. What is it? Nazi. I know, it right? says, like, um, Brigade Chief. Is that really what it says? Something like that. It probably says Neo Nazi. <laughs> it's from <laughs> Haruhi. Uh, if anyone's seen Haruhi, they'll probably recognize this because it's what Haruhi wears. Oh, and, God. Uh, That's sharp. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking there we go. Yeah, that came with one of the box sets. We'll get to that on the next shelf. But uh, <laughs> now you can be all how do how do the hinokoto? I don't know the dance of yukariga. I'll improvise. All right. Um, some lanyard from Bayside High School from Ew. graduating. What was that? I graduated. <laughs> Woo, class of Let's 98. Let's move on to the actual <laughs> figures. So now we're 98. God damn. How fucking You're fucking old. <laughs> when he graduated in 98, it's like, oh, come I'm on. I'm just trying to throw everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so be careful here. Is that like a female cloud? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Let that shit sink in. Everyone, please be offended. <laughs> so true, though. I've never felt it's so true. Yeah. The more I think about it, the truer it gets. Fuck. Okay. I'll dust it first because it's mine. So this is Black Rock Shooter. Um, for those who don't know, in two thousand nine, Hatsune Miku got really popular. Um, one of the songs by, uh, from Hatsune Miku was Black Rock Shooter, where it was about this design by this guy called Huke, who did this, like, alter alternate design of, um, of Hatsune Miku. And the guy named Ryo, who did, like, most of the popular Hatsune Miku songs, made a song about that alternate design called Black Rock Shooter. So, Black Rock Shooter is not technically Hatsune Miku, she has her own story, but, um, she's based on that design. And, uh... Fuck it! Well, that's why I wasn't gonna hold that. Jesus Whatever. Christ. Anyway, yeah. this is based directly... God damn, look at the size of this gun. Can you just imagine just... <laughs> this is a big-ass cannon. So this is based on... Well, what's cool is that uh, in 2009, because of the popularity of Hatsune Miku, she was, like, there's a lot of specific images of her that were popular, and I started turning those images into figures. So it would be, like, these huge, expensive, badass figures that directly reflected one of the popular pictures of the characters. So this is, like, an adaptation of an image into figure form, which is really fucking cool. Pretty much. I've also got up here... A DVD of Black Rock Shooter, the OVA, which oh, came with the yeah. Figma of her, um, which Shade bought. I believe we have two of these for some reason. Shade got a Figma and a... Because Shade's a big um, Hatsune Miku a general Vocaloid fan. He has a lot of crap from those. He has, like, all the Black Rock Shooter characters in Nendoroid and Figma form. And so he got a bunch of these DVDs because of that, of the OVA. The Black Rock Shooter OVA is really cool. Then they made an anime series... And, Victor, you watched a bunch of that, right? And then things are happening. Oh. Yeah. So, the Black Rock Shooter anime, you were telling us about it before the battery died in our good camera. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. You Moving mean, along. It's okay, Let's right? talk about some more figures. It's not okay. It's really bad. Oh, it doesn't have to be too bad. Alright, so now we're going to move on to this shelf. Um... You can just zoom in, I guess, for these, because unfortunately this camera doesn't have the same, like, panning, zooming abilities of the other one, but whatever. Mm, so Good zooming abilities. These two <laughs> figures come from Kanan, which is a 2009 anime series that I was a big fan of. Uh, these two are, like, rivals. What they're meant to do, because I don't have them in the correct pose, is they're meant to do this. So it looks like they're jumping in opposite directions and shooting at each other. Uh. The, the only thing that's not cool about this is, because it's obviously a fucking cool setup, but you can't really, you can never see, like, both of their faces yeah. when you're doing this. Or you can't see, like, their, like, what makes the figures cool, you know, like, but it makes more sense now that I think about it. really cool, and she looks 
really cool. So if they're both pointing outward, it's it's almost like they're on a team Ooh, now. Yeah. They're like they're, they're doing the whole up. buddy cop thing. They're like da 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 da. Or even like uh like okay, okay, okay hold on hold on like pretend they're not there right right. Like, they're not there. The door. Oh, like it busts door. open. It's like. So they're both running and just and then I was like, oh, shut up, and it's like death. <laughs> oh, you. I guess we'll move on to the next shelf. It could, you could. Yeah, I, I just hope you got a good enough shot of them. I mean, they're all dusty and shit. Mm, so. Covered in dust, dead skin cells. Everything is disease. covered in dust in my room. It's just gross. All right, moving on to the next shelf. <clears throat> Take a knee. <laughs> Um, first of all, this is actually the last figure that I ever bought because I finally stopped collecting figures because I decided they were not worth the money. Mm. Um, basically every year I would go to Otakon and I'd have a bunch of money and I'd buy a bunch of figures and I'd regret it later because I'm like, that money could have been spent on something start to cry. interactive, something that doesn't just sit on my shelf and collect dust for I years. I picture you like trying to get a candy bar or something and you don't have enough money because you um, a figure. Like I had given up on buying figures, but I had already ordered... Th this one took a year between me ordering it and it Arraying? getting to my house. Because the thing is that figures, you usually pre-order them months in advance, yeah. right? But this figure took... Because they, they often get pushed back. Like, it's right... You should never expect a figure to come out on time. It'll tell you, oh, it's coming out in three months. It will not. <laughs> it will <laughs> always get pushed out. back. This one got pushed back for like a whole year, and I completely Jesus forgot Christ. I had even bought it. Like, it showed up, and I was like, oh, right. <laughs> but what's cool about this is that it's, uh, I really wanted a Romelia Scarlet figure, because she's my favorite character, and uh -huh. I wanted to get one that's, like, just gorgeous. So this one is designed by this guy called Pop, who um, did the designs for Moetan. If you've ever heard of Moetan, it's a really adorable Moe thing. It's, it's actually a book that's supposed to teach you English through Moe. I wish I could learn English. Anyway, moving along. We have Rika, um, what's her last name? I don't remember. Kagamiya? It's not important. No. No. Furude. Furude Rika. Furude. From uh, Higurashi. She's my favorite character from Higurashi. This figure was really cheap at NekoCon. It was like $20. And I was like, she's my favorite Higurashi character. I want to own her. Even though it's like a really sexual uh, fig yeah, figure. Yeah, that's kind of a pose. It's very though. racy. Um, she's in a school swimsuit, which I hate school swimsuits. But in this figure, it's a... Anyway, uh, this is... Oh god, her voice, her name is escaping me. She's from Seito Kaino Ichi's own. Staring right into her eyes and they're looking back at me with death. She is upset. That you I don't remember, remember her, her fucking name. name. Um, oh my god. Again, she was cheap. And this is, this is actually the last figure I got in the Philippines. She's the only one that's not on the other shelf for some reason. I guess because she fit in better over here. Yeah, it, it fits the... the yeah. And she's fun. She's another one of those characters who looks a lot younger than she is. And she's always just like... I'm an adult, no one treats me like an adult, but the best part about her is that she does all these childish things and thinks they're normal, because she's like, sometimes I go to the park and I play in this, like, I make these castles out of sand, so of course I'm an adult, and everyone's like, adults don't, don't do that, do that. Yeah, that's not that's a thing not that adults thing do, that but she gets away with it because she looks so young that everyone at the park just thinks that she's He's a basically kid. Brandon Tolentino. That's fantastic. Yeah, she basically is him. I mean, I'm 5'8". I'm 5'3". I know, you look like Shaq in this video. <laughs> I'm five I should, like, eight. adjust the camera to be at my eye level. Oh, God. Oh, oh there God. you go. That's, That's Victor's there. eye level. Is he even visible now? <laughs> you can just see, like, his nose and his glasses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these guys are fucking short. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm, like, normal size. We're gonna watch this video at my eye level now. Mm. Mm. da 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 I feel like a superhero. Oh, wait, wait, it's on my back. Oh, God. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. Fucking shit. Yeah. Go. Alright, okay, let's go. We're on Jesus this shelf. Christ. Yes, this shelf is happening. This is the main character from Gunbuster, Noriko, and the main character from Die Buster. No, no, no. Is that her name? Oh, no, is no. Is her name? No, no, no. I think so. Oh, no. No, no. These no. two. These figures are weird because a lot of people have them, and the reason is that they were super common for some reason. Even though, ooh, both of these shows um, were kind of unknown. Like, not a lot of people watched them, but That's I guess weird. everyone who's seen the show has had the opportunity to buy these figures because they were really easy to find, and they were like $30. Like, Jeez. I got mine, like, one of them I got at FYE, and one I got at Trilogy. 
So, yeah. Yeah. It's super easy to come by. I mean, Trilogy has a lot of figures, but... Yeah, Trilogy's so. like a clusterfuck, though. We're gonna move even further down. These ones, I don't... I, I'm expecting the camera to come with us for this low, Victor. I don't want to see them all from above. I gotta undo all these knobs. <laughs> Everything. The fucking is. be a cameraman. <laughs> By the way, there's like a rule with my collection. The way that this this shelf is uh, situated is that all the coolest ones right, that, that, that costed a lot of money are up top. That's exactly how mine works. And all the lame <laughs> ones that were like cheap are down bottom. So these ones, almost all except for this one, all came from 2009. Um, Oticon that year, I wanted like. Quantity over quality, basically. I was just like, I want to buy a lot of figures. <laughs> so this one's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I like it's that Haruhi. one. That's like my favorite. Um, it was still pretty cheap, but uh, I think what's best about this is just that her tits look really nice. Like honestly, maybe they do. Because they they capture what they look like in the show. Because Haruhi has the best tits in anime. Like period. Just <laughs> just being real, she has the best being tits in anime. Being real. Normally, I'm not into big tits, but hers are like. Perfect. Yeah, they like the way they're nice drawn is like and yet yeah, perfect. They're not like they're kind of realistic. They're not like typical anime tits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, <laughs> now that I'm admiring her tits. Uh, Konata is from Lucky Star. This one's pretty wanky or uh, wonky. Ugh. You said wanky. She's got yeah. a wank. I mean, it's wanky. okay, but it's just like <laughs> it's go for not. A wank? It doesn't reflect her, like, her, it's not, like, perfect to the, the actual character in the show. And that show has great character design, so the figure does not really capture it that well. Yep. Then we have, like, a really cheap Yuki Nagato that I bought just because it was, like, $12, and I was like, that's it's worth available. $12. Let yeah. me look at it. It's, you know, because most stuff for $12, $12 is, like, fucking yay-sized, you know, so that's... This is pretty good for twelve dollars. It's there's yeah. no nothing really wrong with it. It's just not spectacular in any way. It's kind of plain. Oh god, it's like yellowed down here. Ugh. Ugh. Someone died on that. Oh, and it's on like a giant H. I pissed on it. Fucking cunt. <laughs> Fucking cunt. <laughs> um. So Shoot. now we're going to get into the first of the figures that I outright regret. Oh boy, this is the exciting part. Oh yeah, come on, the, the, the regret is the fun. Like I've been, I've been hoping to get to the regret because that's the most entertaining. Like the stuff that I like is just like, oh cool, he has that. But this is the stuff that has a story behind it. So, here we have Eureka from Eureka Seven. Yeah. This figure was like impossible to find online. It was sold out everywhere. Yes. Right. Um. And it would have been like fifty bucks to buy originally, and that's how much they were selling it for at Oticon, and. I had my suspicions that it might be fake, but in 2009 I wasn't that uh, like attuned to it. Savvy. So this is fake, which is quite obvious if you take a good look at it. Um, just her face looks derpy as fuck. Her hair has like this obnoxious like part in it. You see that? You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Oh, it's mm. my, hair. <laughs> my hair is like that. Uh, so, and altogether, it's just not like a great figure of a record. Yeah, it it's just. Kinda, yeah. It's just kind of, uh, the, the nameplate fell off. It was just kind of, like, glued on with, like, regular-ass glue. Yeah, you should probably throw that away. <laughs> <laughs> throw it away. Look at that fucking... Oh, and now I've cut the thing. Get, to get that feet shit out of here. Her feet have to, like, squeeze together to get into the holes correctly. Yeah, pretty shitty. You probably don't want to touch that and for the rest of your that life. That one's, like, the most disappointing because it was, like, $50. So I, I paid, like, good money for that, and... It was just, you're at Otakon, it's the heat of the moment, you're in a dealer's room with like a million people in it, Man. throwing around all this money, yeah. and you see Eureka, and you've been trying to get it online, and you can't, and then you buy it, and then you get it home, and you're like, this is, this was not worth I it. I could have had like a full tank of gas and two pizzas with that money, and I would have driven around Really? Pizza. $50 gets you a full tank of gas and two pizzas? Yeah. yeah. It's like $30 to fill up small gas. gas tanks. $16 for the two pizzas. Uh. At Chinello's. Takes me like 50 bucks to fill my tank. Really? Yeah. I must have you a have big shitty tank. Alright, moving on. No. Uh, <laughs> next, uh, next. How does that make sense? <laughs> Netsuko Sherufu. So, this shelf is in utter shambles. And the reason for that is that about a week ago, Victor got really 
really and fucking and drunk and was wrecking everything. And I was like, dude, look out for my shelf. Don't fuck everything up on my they shelf. So his response me. was, let me fuck all right, up. let me push everything back so it's fucking not Fucking cunt. Oh, yeah, I did. That was my logic. I was like, let me move all of this so I don't break it. Exactly. <laughs> Which, in the process, broke all of it. <laughs> anyway. I like that horror here. This is my cheap and shitty shelf, anyway, except for these. These are the coolest things on this shelf. So, these are doujins by, um, by Yoshitoshi Abe. Again, from 2008, when I was buying all the Abe stuff. So, this one is called, I, I Am an Alien, I Have a Question. And these are actually signed by Yoshitoshi Abe. Um... The signature is then circled by the guy who is selling them, so he could say, These are signed by Yoshitoshi Abe. Um, I'm assuming he signed these en masse, like, because he, obviously he wasn't there. Uh, it was just like, there was some point where Yoshitoshi Abe signed a fuckload of doujins, and this guy had some of them. Um, I think this is the one where I might have been trying to translate it. The way I did this was, because someone has, has translated this online, right? And so I Just took it, to dust in your hands. and I started, yeah, all right, this is great. <laughs> you see this. I took post-it notes, and I wrote the English translations on the post-it notes, and then stuck those in the book so that I could read it in <laughs> English on its own. But it's all in my handwriting, which is, like, abysmal. And it's all jagged-ass post-it notes. I did the whole volume. Man, that's Holy fantastic. Shit. Oh, no, I didn't. I gave up halfway uh... through. Oh, the reason for that is that um, I was, like, doing it, and then I realized that the translation online was missing a page. Ooh. And I was, okay. then they, they fixed it later, but Fucking I... Fucking internet. Because I was like, I was like, oh, I'll scan the page for you since you're missing it. And they were like, whoa, man, don't break your binding. And I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't going to break my binding. I was just going to, like, put it in the scanner and, <laughs> and scan it. Like, you were just going to get a shitty scan. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you can show off that one while well, I'm putting this one away. That one is... Something pharmacy, I can't read the title. It's Pochiyama that. Pochiyama the Pharmacy, I believe. Or maybe that means pharmacy or something. Maybe. This one's volumes one through th or issues one through three. Again, signed by Yoshitoshi Abe. These are just fun stories that he did. Ugh. Like knock like making it worse over here. I don't even care. These like I said, this shelf is just like No fucks the given. bottom of the barrel. So Oh, remember when I said that Araki 7 was, like, one of the most disappointing? It would be the most disappointing if it weren't for this. So, this character is named something Tamaki. Her nickname is uh, Ta Tamachan from Bamboo Blade. She was, like, one of my favorite characters back in 2008 when I watched Bamboo Blade, and I have not... Rewatched it since then, so I really have no recollection. <laughs> but um, this figure was another one I wanted online. Found it at Otakon. This one I'm pretty sure is real. There's no. It's not disappointing because it's fake. It's just disappointing because it sucks. Because she's just standing there, holding mm. these threads on her mm. on her gi, and like that's that's it, right? So yeah. And she's just kind of standing there. Well, she came with all this armor. Like she has this breastplate. Try to get that on there. I got this. Just try. Mm -hmm. Try to get that breastplate on there. Try your hardest. Do her arms come off? No. No. What about from the sleeve? No. Like pull the arms out of the sleeves. I've had this figure for about four years, Victor. Her hands are attached to her belt. Yeah. They're this like, is they're impossible. There. Yeah. This you can't is... put the armor on her. Well, she comes with a helmet you gotta keep trying. that doesn't fit her head. She comes with a armor piece that you can't put on her body. Mm. <laughs> she comes with a bamboo sword and no hand to put the sword in. The stand has a slot for the sword, but the only way you can put it in is to just stick it in there. There's no, like, <laughs> rack for it. You just stick the stick sword in the there. Sword. So the sword is just standing up stupidly, and she stands on this part, or she would if I hadn't accidentally broken the pegs <laughs> off into her feet. <laughs> And the reason that happened is that what used to be my figure shelf was that, like, um, you know Victor's desk downstairs? Yeah. You know how it's got the two parts, so it's like the top half is to the side? Yeah. And you know how his desk is real wobbly? Well, I had the top part behind the, the bottom part, and that was my figure shelf. And one day, I just accidentally kicked it over, and everything tumbled down. And her feet, the pegs on the board broke off into her feet. But, thankfully, oh, the one thing that is kind of cool about this figure is that it is 
the most balanced figure ever. So her position is true zen. She really is stand like like her the the level of focus that she is displaying right now is legit. She can just stand. No figure does that. No figure stands without pegs. She can stand anywhere. That's fantastic. So <laughs> zen. Considering that she's supposed to be posing in like a balanced, you know, karate pose, that's it's very cool. it's very interesting. It's, Makes almost makes the figure better. If only she could put on her fucking armor and get her <laughs> yeah. shit together. That'd be really, get her <laughs> shit together. Who thought it was a good idea to put a figure with armor that you can't wear? And why does she stand way back here on the base when there's so just all this? So you can put the armor price? in yeah, front of it. Yeah, it's dumb. It's fucking dumb. Some asshole made that. Yeah. <laughs> so and I paid eighty dollars for it. Oh. Yep. My soul. The depth of my regret. Asshole. Is yes. So now we have these little Manabi Straight figures. Um, Manabi Straight is a fucking fantastic show that everyone should watch. I agree. You don't. You've never seen it, so congratulations, Brandon. <laughs> Pretty asshole. <laughs> I've got two of these. These are just like blind box, like you know, you never, you don't know what you're gonna get. Figures. You couldn't get something cool. Likewise, um, this is why I don't buy blind box figures because. It's usually a, like five characters that there's possible for you to get, uh -huh. and there's always one character I don't care about. So in this case, it was Surya mm -hmm. from Haruhi. I was like, I'll buy a Haruhi one. I hope I don't get Surya, and I got Surya, and I was like, that's like eight dollars wasted because I don't give like, a fuck about her. <laughs> so yeah, this one's like, it look okay. The way her hair is makes it so she can't quite sit in the chair right, and even if she does, her hair is like too long and it hits the floor. It's dumb. It's a dumb figure, but you can <laughs> sit her down. But her hair is like. On the, oh, like, she's boy. being held up by the hair. Better. Yeah. Um, and like I don't care about Surya, so... And then there's this one. Uh, this was given to me by Mike in the Philippines. Oh, um, yeah. He gave me a few of his, like, because he had doubles. Like, he has a lot of these, like, mystery box series. Him and his wife would just buy all of them. So he has, like, full sets of That's, a bunch of... And then of, uh, there's, like, doubles and... Like, he has full races. sets of, like, Code Geese, Haruhi, Lucky Star, um... He has a full set of Gundam Seed, even though he hates Gundam Seed, just because his wife bought them because they're, like, Bishonen characters, like, uh -huh. pretty boys. But, uh, so he gave me this Haruhi that he had doubles of. She just kind of sits on this. There's no, like, peg. She That's just sits weird. on it. This figure has a dunk ass. Look at that. It's a hot, douche. It's a hot figure. That is yeah, a dumb ass. The legs are kind of This flat. is based directly on an image, by the way. Like, it was, uh, there's, like, a picture of all the characters at the beach, and, like, that's directly that's based on that picture. Um, I like how you're cleaning up your shelf as you do this. Yeah. So here's my last <laughs> utter regret one. This is another fake. This is Lane from Serial Experiments Lane. Yeah, I noticed that. And you know, you saw it. Yep. Uh, you might notice that this is based on one of the pictures from the art book, which I do have. Uh, we'll get to it in a different... It's not in the same place as the rest of my art books. She's supposed to stand on these stairs with her hand against this wall, right? So it's directly based on a picture from the, from the art book. Well... It looks super cool. Like obviously they they tried to cre recreate Abe's like textures, like the way he draws with the uh, with the paint on the coat and everything. Yeah. But the face looks a little derpy. Yeah. But I bought but this like... for only thirty dollars. So it's not too bad. Right. For a fake, even for a fake, that's pretty much worth it, right? But here's the problem. First of all, her the pegs, her feet would not fit them. The hole in her foot was not on in her back foot was not big enough to fit the peg. So mm -hmm. at best she could stand like this, where she was kind of leaning to the side and her hand would not to touch the wall. the wall. So you had to like force it to touch the wall, but it just wouldn't stay. And then eventually the pegs broke off in her foot when my when my <sighs> whole figure collection fell down. That's and I was like, I don't even care. And she lost a hand. Yeah, I'm noticing that. So she's got a missing hand because of that. It's kind of cool though. It's like, whoa. <laughs> She's and making up some sort of weird fan fiction. One handed. But uh, this one. This one had such a hard time standing anyway before it got fucked up that it's like and now it's not even that big of a difference. You just like. It's ruined. Oh, it. that's depressing. Um. This is this little girl from. from a. Uh, Last Exile. It just came I with the Last Exile, Last Exile box. So many little girls. Know, right? So I many bought, little girls. I bought the Last Exile box set and it came with this. And I don't even remember her name. Uh, little girl. She's actually like yeah. 30. Little girl. <laughs> no, but she is some kind of like weapon thing. She's like one of those key to the whatever, the fucking Matrix. Oh, you like me. Um, Here's a bottom half. <laughs> and here's... <laughs> 
use the top hat. <laughs> put that together. Maybe it's like solving a puzzle. Let's put her arm on too. She could probably. Do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. She doesn't need her arms. <laughs> She has to, dude, her arm's the most important thing. It has to be up to her chin so she can be like, hmm. Mm, inquisitive. Because she's always doing that in the show. This is Miyuki from Lucky Star. Uh, I also have Kagamin in uh, the cheerleader outfit. Um, the pigtails are not on. But these, honestly, I'm not even going to try putting them on because it's fucking difficult. Like, they, you put one on and then you try to put on the other and it fall, the other one falls off and you just sit there all day trying to put the stupid Listen. fucking pigtails on. And they'll just fall off anyway. I've heard it's like a challenge. You really want to do it? No, not really. Then why'd you take it? <laughs> so, yeah, these are also duplicates that Ghost Lightning had that he gave to me. Um, her arm is already off. Wow, look at that. The other arm. Fuck these. I don't even want to try putting them together. And they're in these, like, these fucking blocks. They look like ice blocks. And they're just, like, kind of... They don't, like, fit in there. You just kind of kind of shove them in there and they'll kind of stay. Alright, moving along, here is like the oldest thing in this collection, which is a um, is Robotech figure from buying the Robotech DVDs way back. This is before Macross was available in the US, you had to buy it as Robotech. I didn't know there was a difference at the time, I was like 13. Um, so this is the Skull Leader figure, what's his name, Roy, Roy what? Yeah. Roy Fokker? Star yeah. Scream. Um, so this is supposed to be able to transform, because you know, the Robotech robots transform, but uh... He's only got one arm He's and one complete. leg. <laughs> uh, so he can only go into one arm, one leg robot mode. Or, um, I guess this is kind of Defender. It's sort of like the best oh, mode God. to get him into. His arm's falling off. <laughs> so I just keep him in jet mode. And what's interesting is that this figure is supposed to be able to, like, you pull back and it, it goes. Yeah. But uh, because his arms are fucked up, he just doesn't really go. So. Oh, that's the saddest robot I've ever yeah. seen in my whole life. But what about that one Linkin Park video with the sad robots in space? Those are pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually... Oh my god, the dust is just caked onto this one. Oh, gross. Jesus Christ. It feels like I'm touching some kind of weird jello paste. Jello paste. <laughs> <laughs> Such an asshole. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, this is actually from a pretty cool series, uh, which is, what was the name of this thing? Buso Shinki. These were originally figures, they actually had an anime adaptation where it's like each episode's like five episodes long or whatever. Yeah. Um, each episode is five, five episodes, episodes long. long. <laughs> five minutes long. I didn't even realize I'd said that. Um, so the thing about this is that this is the first figure I ever bought actually. I bought it at Trilogy. And it comes with a load of stuff that you can do to customize it, right? Like, she has regular legs or jet Stilts, legs. Yeah. She has, like, um, all kinds of, like, I think she has guns that can attach to her legs. She has, like, different kind of arms. She has a huge backpack that has, like, these fucking gigantic propellers on it. Uh -huh. Which she would be wearing, but you have to have the stand to hold her up. For yes. pretty much any pose, she needs the stand to hold her up. And where is that? Don't have the stand. I have all the pieces, all the customizable pieces. She has like tons of guns. She has, you have, she has two different lengths of hair. You can give her long hair or short hair. You can give her different faces. You can take off this thing, whatever. So you can make her all kinds of things. She has like the robot breastplate and the regular one. Uh huh. Hugely customizable. But if you don't have the stand, you it's can't really rude. pose her. So like I would just kind of, I had her in a position where what, what she was doing down there is that she was supposed to be like on her knees. And she has a giant sniper rifle, like this big. Yeah. And she was supposed to be like sniping, but uh, like, she even has a trigger figure. I'm not sure. It's probably in the box <laughs> with the rest of the parts. No, I think Victor ate it. So. I... <laughs> Trump. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, and there's this. Oh, that's my favorite piece. This, this piece was recorded that's... live at the famous One Second Club. That's actually my personal dick ruler. It's like a 1-1 one -one scale. <laughs> it was inspired by the clarity of consciousness rather than the vividness of dream and was the self-proclaimed pinnacle of broken bridges and chest pressure. You know, I just thought Fuck you. you would just use it as a street. Big old penis <laughs> flopping around its three big feet of pleasure. We actually did use that to make those D&D &D maps. Put yeah, it in that's your that's mouth. It. Yeah, that's actually why it's up here is because I was drawing. Are those... Bugs? Those are behind here, then I have to get them out. Oh, snap. 
Presents. It's like Christmas. It's not there. Oh, it's Christmas. So Are they on the other side? Other side. They're on the other side, right? It's not. It's not back here. They're somewhere else. Well, disappointment, huh? You can man. cut that because that's done. We're done. Annotations, Stuff though. Done. Yeah, they're on the screen already. Yeah, we gotta go like annotations. The annotations have been on the screen since I fucking flopped my big ass dick around. Man. <laughs> sad camera falls. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> sad camera falls. Like, cut the fucking sad. clip. Here you go.